Are you all right, little kitty? Kitty, no take elevator. Kitty is scared. Ah, I see. Elevators can be a little scary. But when Dr. Binox is here, there's nothing to fear. So friends, let's tackle an uplifting question. How to survive a falling elevator? Zoom in! Imagine stepping into an elevator, pressing the button and watching the doors slide shut. Everything seems normal until suddenly something goes wrong. The elevator jerks, the cables snap, or so you assume, and you start plunging downward. Your stomach drops, your heart races, and you have only seconds to act. Before you panic, let's get one thing straight. Falling elevators are incredibly rare. About 1 in 10 million trips. In other words, you have a better chance of being struck by lightning while riding a unicycle than experiencing a true freefall in an elevator. Even better news, modern elevators are designed with multiple safety features, including emergency brakes that kick in even after all cables snap. But if by some ridiculously unlucky accident, you do find yourself plummeting down an elevator shaft, here's how to give yourself the best chance of survival. The first thing you should definitely not do is try to jump at the last second. Some people believe that if you time it just right, you'll reduce the impact. But this is pure myth. Even if you had superhero reflexes and pull it off, you'll only slow yourself down by a couple of miles per hour. Not nearly enough to make a real difference. And in all likelihood, you'll mistime the jump, slam into the ceiling and land in a terrible position, making your injuries even worse. So, jumping is definitely not the answer. At the same time, standing stiff like a statue is one of the worst things you can do, as the force of impact will travel straight up through your legs and spine, putting immense pressure on your bones and almost certainly breaking them. Your body simply isn't built to withstand that kind of shock in a rigid, upright position. So, what's your best survival strategy? Well, simply lie flat on your back. This spreads the force of impact across your entire body rather than concentrating it on one area like your legs or spine. The more evenly the impact is distributed, the better your chances of avoiding serious injury. To further increase your odds, wrap your arms around your head. It acts like a helmet, protecting you from falling debris. If you have a bag or jacket, use it as extra cushioning between you and the floor to soften the impact. But no matter the circumstances, stay as flat as possible. This reduces the risk of internal injuries and gives you the best shot at survival. Even if you follow these steps perfectly, surviving a falling elevator isn't guaranteed. The force of the crash can still cause broken ribs, bruises or internal injuries. However, as I mentioned earlier, the good news is that the chances of this happening are incredibly low. Still, knowing what to do in an emergency never hurts. And if you are really worried, well, maybe just take the stairs. Trivia time! Did you know? It's not feasible for standard elevators to travel distances of more than 500 meters. Yes, 
once an elevator reaches around 500 meters, the cables themselves become so heavy that their own weight can cause them to snap or fail. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Adwig Rudolph. Hope you learned a great survival tactic today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. So, ready to take the lift to the top floor, kitty?